Hello friends, welcome to the Re React Native video in where we are going to learn about the Redux Saga. So let's have a look how we are going to implement the API integration in the Redux Saga, how to connect the store in the Redux Saga. Okay, so let's have a look because it's a full fledged proper process that I'm following. Okay, so let's check out how we are going to implement it. Okay, so, so this is our home that we that is for like so uh, begin with the app.js first of all go with the index.js so in index.js here we need to go with the index.js first and in index.js i have completely go uh, go with the source app in our folder so i'm making making it in like source app whatever i have written in the source app it will going to take place store i have defined home uh, view I have defined and the provider I am passing the store. First, take a look of the store. I have created the store.js in real source store.js source store.js right. So here we are going to connecting the middleware Redux Saga. Same as you can see that here also. To run the Saga, we'll have to connect it to the Redux store using the Redux Saga middleware. So, so this is the thing that we are connecting to the Redux store. Got it? It's the same one that I'm using the same thing. Okay. So you, if I go to this one, you can see that the same thing I have implemented. And okay, so connecting the store. Next step is that we have the home part. Okay. Uh, home is basically a view that we are showing. Okay. And you can also see that here. Oh, my skin, screen is blank. Give me a second. Let me uh, awake this screen. And actually what we have done. So basically we are fetching the data from an API and render it over here, right? So you can see that. So data is coming over here. So these, these three things you need to install. Okay. Okay. This is done. Now we are going to move with the reducers. Mm, reducers. Let's take a look of the home. What exactly it, uh, it is. So you will, you will see that there is an action that is request API data that is hitting here. Okay, request API data. So there is action that is uh, we are hitting, and uh, in this uh, we are dispatching this part request API data. If when we hit that, then we are going to say, set that in the state and get it from the props, and uh, then we will going to use it. So let's see. Uh, let's go to the actions. So these actions are defined over here. Receive which action it is asking for. That is request API data. So request API data. So where is request API data? First of all, check reducers data. So we have receive API data is here. So we are getting this one from the data and uh, Saga. First of all, let's check. Okay. So here we have the Saga. That is the main file. You can say where we hit all the API over here. So you can see that there is a get API data. Okay. So when I search this in get API data, you will find it here. And here, first we will call the data that is fetch data, fetch data in the API. So here we are calling the fetch data, which we are getting all the data. After getting all this data, what we are doing, we are going to do receive API data. So we have the action receive API data. So we'll see that we have received API data. So whatever data it is, it is going to add in the receive API data with the data parameter. Okay, receive API data in the uh, under data parameter, right? So let's come back to this one. So you can see that uh, in the data.js receive API data, the same thing that we have already done uh, actions. So receive API data type is this one. So we are going to set this in the state. So whatever data is this, we are going to return this. So it will set this in action. This action will have this data, whatever data we have. So we need to pull the data from here receive api data right and uh, you can see that in the saga uh, uh, saga.js we hit this and whatever data we have it will sh we are sending this one so it will set into that state and we will get in get it and show into the home screen okay uh, make sure all the data.js you can see that here index.js so here you can see that index or reduces in the index.js whatever you are passing the data like users data login data sign up data all the data will going to this take place and you need to pass it over here 
okay so in data in this data what is what exactly it is it is just you can say this is a, uh, you can say the reducer right in reducers what we are switching the type if it is receive api data receive api data if we are calling in the actions receive api data okay receive api if the type is receive api data okay and in the saga.js you can see receive api data okay so here you can see that the whenever the saga.js and we have the fetch data uh, api dot fetch api so whatever the data it is first it call set into uh, api call then it's set into the actions what we have okay and in actions we will set the state then after after dispatching we need to set we need to show into this home controller whatever data it, it will bind it will set in this uh, now we are getting the data from the store and we will show with the help of the props and rendering the data accordingly so you can see that the data is rendering okay so i hope you understand the flow how we set our, how we hit the api set them in a store and use it in a view so you can see that the proper uh, image over here you can i can explain this one so so you can see that the uh, uh, view layer is there okay this is the reducer part reducer store okay redux ada middleware okay whatever the api response we are getting on we need to set in the redux middleware store okay and uh, you can see that there is a dispatch action is also there so you can you, you can see that there here so you can see that the props request api data right it means the api we need to hit the api okay we need to hit the api so first of all it will check and this will map dispatch to props this AP, this this map dispatch to props and map state to props state to props means we are converting the state into the props so that we can uh, get the data map dispatch to props here we are always setting the api okay so it will bind creators request api data okay which is already here in actions so actions is already defined and you can see the saga actions is there right so when we go to the saga first uh, no, first of all we have we have to check the reducers index so here you can see that the data is calling reducers data is calling whatever data it is receive api data then return this data right so it is in this one and the saga what it says get api data okay so it will check the fetch call uh, data from the api receive uh, this api data and set into that one then it will do the rest of the work setting the setting into the store and fetching the data then show into that one that is the main purpose of it okay so that's it for now any query any issue in that just let me know we will refine this thing much more in the new videos okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great day